procrastinate. Each one of you start procrastinating right now. Why am I asking you to procrastinate? Isn't that supposed to be bad? Well, here's the thing. Procrastination can be a bit of a double-edged sword. On one hand, it can give your brain a chance to relax and recharge. On the other hand, it can absolutely demolish you, leading you to delay the task further and further. Now, there are two types of procrastinations, control procrastination and chronic procrastination. First up, we have a regular procrastination, also known as a chronic procrastination. We call it the chronic procrastination because we're constantly repeating it. Chronic procrastination can lead to unnecessary stress and last minute scrambling. Control procrastination, on the other hand, is a great way to recharge. When you take a break from a task and come back to it later, you're gonna find yourself coming with fresh ideas and newer perspectives. For example, as an individual who's working, uh, for example, imagine you're going to get a birthday present for your friend. Now, you could do two, uh, two things. One, get the present a week before and wait a whole week to give it out. Or two, you could procrastinate and get it while you're on your way to the birthday party. This would do two things. One, leading you to get a more thoughtful birthday present as the idea of birth, uh, getting a birthday present constantly lays in the back of your mind. And two, once you give out the present, you'll feel more gratification and you'll save more fuel. Now here are some potential benefits of controlled procrastination. Creativity and problem solving. Procrastination give, can give your mind a break and allow it to wander, leading you to creative insights and innovative solutions. Sometimes not forcing yourself to do a task can, give, uh, can lead to a eureka moment. For example, as an individual who's working on brainstorming fresh ideas, procrastination can help them enhance thinking and help them come up with a more creative and better ideas. Stress reduction. A moderate amount of procrastination can result in reducing stress, as it allows you to temporarily avoid overwhelming tasks. If you feel overwhelmed, take a short break. But if you get a little too carried away, your control procrastination will immediately shift into the chronic procrastination. Lastly, time for reflection. Procrastination can give your mind time for reflection and evaluation. You can use this time to see if the task at hand is truly necessary or if there are more better and efficient ways to approach it. According to Joseph Harari, who's a professor, uh, who's a psychological professor at the Deep Valley University and also the author of the book, Still Procrastinating, states, that, uh, that an average of 20% of US adults are chronic procrastinators. Now, chronic procrastination is the type of procrastination I personally struggle with. I used to procrastinate at every opportunity available, from doing such simple tasks as getting up to make my bed to doing my math. My procrastination was so bad that sometimes I won't get my task done, which would lead me to face major consequences. So here are some few aspects that help me overcome my chronic procrastination. Start big. I noticed that once you get the bigger task done first, the smaller one much, uh, seems much more easier. Cruciality. Think about how crucial or important the task is. Go through the pros and cons and think about the consequences you'll have to face if you don't get the task done. This, was, uh, this will create this kind of fear in your mind that if I don't do this, this would happen. Lastly, rewards. Think of, uh, when you finish a task, treat yourself with a reward, whether it be a piece of chocolate to anything you wish or desire. This would motivate you for your next task and give you more gratification. To this day, I procrastinate, so much so that I procrastinated writing this very own talk. But in the end, it's about seeing what works best for you. For some people, thriving under the looming pressure of deadlines while others prefer to tackle ta tasks head on. Hey, maybe we all should start procrastinating tomorrow.